Yo guys, welcome back. So in this video, I managed to flash the 6600M into a normal 6600 and I managed to get all the settings, all the sliders in AMD Adrenaline all working. Um, so I need to test it a little bit more further, but I'll show you what I've done so far. And yeah, let's have a look. So here's the 6600M. So if, in my last video, if you watched it, you'll see that I, would have, I had um, issues with um, stability on the AM5 platform. And also I didn't have the sliders on the AMD Adrenaline. Um, so I've got that now. But before we go into that, let's have a look at GPU-Z. You can see it's uh, RX 6600. So I flashed it to the 6600. Um, and if I go into here, you can see it's coming up as 6600. Now, if I go into performance and go into tuning, we can see now I'm able to go into the custom manual tuning. And here we have all the sliders. So at the moment, I'm messing around with it. Later on, I'll be doing some overclocks and things like that to make it a bit more powerful. Um, but at the moment, um, because I've just um, made it work, uh, I thought I'll make a quick video just to show you guys. And um, yeah, I might do a follow up video later if you guys are interested in how to do this BIOS um, um, change. If you have a 6600M and you want a bit more you know, flexibility with your um, tuning and things like that. So yeah, if I get a bit get views if I get an interest on how to do that then I'll, I'll make a video um, but yeah good thing about this is also I've got all the access to you know frame generation fluid motion all of that stuff and it's working on the latest um, build as well so we got this build today you can see here 21st 03 so it's working and I've done some benchmarks on um, Firmark, um, just to see what kind of performance you get. At the moment, it's the same as a, the last test I've done on the 6600M when I've done the Firmark. It's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit better, but um, I just need to tune it and I think I can get more out of it. What I need to do is go into more power tools and um, unlock the voltage. Sorry, I was a bit autofocus is bad and I'm just like all over the place. Um, so what I need to do is go into more power tools and play around with the settings. Hopefully I can get the um, voltage higher than what it's set at the moment. You can see here it's at 1050 at the moment. So I'm trying to get to 1150 or something and then push the um, clocks in further. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we get on. The only problem I'm having at the moment is if I do this, if I play around with the... Um, VRAM tuning. If I apply that, <laughs> you can see that it goes back to it doesn't hold it. So um, what it doesn't like is the VRAM being changed. So let's put it back again. Um, so I need to figure that out. Um, but yeah, that shouldn't be an issue. I can mess around with it, and um, yeah, we'll find out how it goes. So yeah, that's it, guys. If you want to subscribe, then do that. It does help me out, and it gives me more, mo you know, um, motivation to do more videos and like do these little hacks and stuff. It was kind of risky doing it because I could end up bricking it. So that support that you give me gives me that motivation to you know do more stuff, and um, it helps out with the channel so I can buy more products and things like that. If you want to become a member um, on my channel, then yeah, you can go ahead. So you like 99p for the month whatever it's not much but yeah if you want to do that it helps me out as well i'll probably be able to buy like better graphics card and do more riskier stuff like you know these kind of stuff um at the moment i'm not able to do like um, that kind of risky stuff with the expensive stuff because you know it is expensive and yeah um obviously my channel's not making that much money but yeah that's an option if you guys want to help me out but yeah that's it for this video um yeah and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace